Uh, we thank you all for your presence. It's very nice to start a new European project, and it's especially interesting when we started with new partners. And uh, this is a very special, special situation for us because there are very few Yehudi Menachem um, organizations in this new Emotionate project. So um, it's going to be quite interesting to see how we can evolve and to work together during the next uh, two and a half, two years. So it's welcome and uh, well, let's see what we, we can do in order to improve uh, the abilities of our children with other capacities, which was the main purpose of, of putting into value and into practice emotional emotions and arts. I'm going to give the words to Anabel, which is uh, Anabel Dominguez, which is our uh, who is our, our, our manager, um, and uh, afterwards we, we continue with me. Thank you. I'm going to translate it for you, no? Okay. Voy a traducir. Ah, no, no, no. Bueno, es que estoy a mi Somos pareja. Somos pareja. Somos pareja. Somos pareja. Somos pareja. Pues buenos días a todos y a, a todas. Mi nivel de inglés no ha mejorado desde el anterior encuentro. Estamos ante un proyecto nuevo, emocionarte, y es importante que tengamos conciencia de que vamos a hacer algo diferente, porque además es necesario hacer cosas diferentes para cambiar el mundo. Here we are facing a new project, which is called Emocionarte, and we have to be aware uh, that we are facing a different project, and it's important to know that it's a different project because we have to do things that change the world and improve the world. Ya sabemos que era necesario, pero con la invasión de Ucrania, yo creo que todos eh, hemos visto eh, cómo los, los miedos y la angustia han vuelto y que se hace mucho más necesario trabajar desde el corazón que desde la de la razón. Okay, we we knew it was a necessary project, but uh, and in the current days, taking into account, for example, the invasion of Ukraine, uh, we know that uh, things have to be done with the heart, uh, not only with with uh, our minds, uh, and that's uh, the reason for, for implementing this project. Eh, por eso eh, el reto. De, eh, de todas las personas y entidades que estamos tejiendo redes es mucho mayor porque el enemigo desde las armas y desde la xenofobia y el racismo es mucho mayor in this project, you to face an enemy that is fighting with weapons and racism. Hay un peligro en estos proyectos europeos en los que nos vemos personas que ya no conocemos de otros proyectos. So there's a danger in this kind of European project where we meet people that we have already met in other projects. Tenemos que desconectar de un programa y saber que estamos en otra cosa. We have to disconnect from one program and move on to a different program. Lo que nos une eh, a todos los que estamos aquí es el trabajar desde lo emocional, desde el sentimiento a través del arte. What brings us together here is to work from the emotion into the art. Eh, eh, pero ahora estamos en un momento en el programa emocionante que queremos fijar la mirada en eh, niños y niñas que son pequeños grandes. And now what we want to do is to focus on children of all ages, small ones and older ones. Eh, a veces el sistema eh, habla de que eh, es necesario con estos niños con discapacidad, con estos adultos con discapacidad, medidas de protección y nosotros queremos también que hay que trabajar desde su autonomía y desde el potencial que tienen. So the system tells us that we have to work with these 
children and adults with disabilities uh, to protect, um, to get some rules to protect them. But we will, we want also to work with them so they are, um, they have their own freedom and they can be independent. Eh, olvidamos por tanto otros proyectos compartidos y nos vamos a centrar en un proyecto nuevo que lo que pretende es visibilizar la realidad de las personas que tienen otras capacidades. So we have now to forget the past project we've done and move on to a new thing. We want to visualize the reality of people with other abilities. Eh, el proyecto que presentamos, que después os, os contará a, eh, Tony ampliamente, era muy ambicioso y pedíamos muchos recursos económicos. The previous project that Tony is going to talk about was very ambitious and it required plenty of funds or funding. Pero la realidad después vino con las rebajas, hicimos en España y eh, bueno, es una parte de lo que habíamos pedido. But reality came as a shock, and we had to start making the discounts, like we say in Spanish, and adjust to the new budget. Se, se ha reducido el tema económico, pero creemos que la ilusión y la convicción y la fuerza de los que formamos esta red no tiene que reducirse. Uh, unfortunately, we had to reduce in terms of money, but the, um, the strength and the conviction we don't want to reduce that. We want to keep it up. Vamos a tener que hacer mucho más trabajo, pero creo que a eso ya estamos acostumbrados y acostumbradas todos los que estamos aquí. We're going to have to work harder, but we are all here very used to work hard. Bueno, yo creo que este es el, el, el reto y eh, ahora sería el, el momento de que eh, os presentarais cada uno de vosotros, tanto eh, a vuestra eh, entidad como a nivel personal para que nos conociéramos eh, todos. So, this is the challenge, and now um, we're going to ask you to please introduce yourself one by one, both introduce your entity and you as a person, so that we can meet each other. Teniendo en cuenta que todos podemos hacer muchas presentaciones, porque no, tenemos, no somos una realidad única. Very in mind that all of us can do many different presentations because we have many different realities inside of us. Yo puedo presentarme eh, con mi relación con la universidad, con mi relación con la familia, con mi relación con la fundación, con el museo. Aquí hay que presentarse en lo que tiene que ver con el proyecto emocionarte. So we can, in, um, uh, Annabelle could introduce herself, for example in relationship to her university, to her family, to the foundation, or the new set project. But uh, we want to introduce ourselves here, we want you to introduce yourself, in relation with the MUSE project, with the Emocionarte project. Muy bien, pues, ¿hay algún voluntario o voluntaria que quiera empezar? Pedro. volunteers? <laughs> Es voluntario. Gracias, Antonio. Thank you very much. Eh, bueno, porque mi, mi idioma es el, el otro idioma es el francés. So the solo language is going to be French. I'm going to be introducing him in English. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Pedro Cruz. Soy artista para la fundación desde 1997. Y soy representante de los artistas de España ante el patronato de la Fundación. So, my name is Pedro. He's been an artist from the, for the Foundation since 1997. And he represents two artists for the Foundation. Y soy de Extremadura, que está en el suroeste de España. He comes from Extremadura, a region in the southwest of Spain. Pedro es muy modesto y no cuenta que lleva más de ocho años trabajando en centros específicos de educación especial de Extremadura con un trabajo que vamos a poder ver en vídeos y en, en, en trabajos. Digo que ya sabéis que hay artistas que se venden y hay otros que lo que hacen es que construyen. Él es de los que construyen. 
um, Pedro is very humble. He, ha he hasn't mentioned that he's working in uh, spe specialized centers in Extremadura. Um, and you're going to see his work in videos. He, there, we, we can say that there are some artists who can sell themselves and other artists who build. And that is one of the one of the last ones. He builds. Good morning. My name is Inma. I'm from, I'm from Spain. I'm working in the music from five years since five years ago. I'm a yoga teacher, and my commitment is with the world. I want to contribute to give some peace and to give some calm, you know, to the children. I work um, from the body, and I do theatre as well with them, and I like to show them how to express the emotions. And for me, it's really important because if you uh, build up your personality through scare, through aggressivity, you become an aggressivity and scary man. So I teach them how to uh, feel the pain inside the body when they are angry, when they feel these um, emotions, and then I help them to express in a creativity um, <coughs> way. So they can do art with the pain, with the sadness, when they are really furious. So I teach them how to express this um, in an artist way. That's it. Just Thank you. From now on, remember it's related to emotion art, please, and uh, uh, be a little bit brief. Uh, brief, brief. Yeah. Before uh, Nerissa speaks, let me thank you, Nerissa, uh, on, on behalf of the Spanish Yehudi Medical Foundation, for the excellent work that you are doing in Budapest during these days regarding uh, all the Ukrainian refugees, and we are very proud of you. Actually, okay, so to introduce myself, my name is Narissa, I'm from Hungary, Moos Hungary, I'm the International Project Coordinator in Moos Hungary, and I came here with my colleague, she will present herself. Um, yeah, actually, since we are talking about this subject, just briefly, <laughs> We are in the middle of a humanitarian crisis, and I'm always trying to connect this emotional project to the current reality. So I'm really happy that you mentioned that, Annabelle, about the conflict that is happening, and that we have to address it somehow. Since we are all focused on trying to transform the world into a more peaceful and joyful place, that we have to talk about these really difficult situations and subjects. So I think this is the perfect community to do that, and I really look forward to that. So thank you. Oh. Good morning, I am Betty, and uh, I will be a uh, new uh, coordinator with the organization. Um, Good morning, I am Sandro Pascarelli. Uh, I am here uh, representing the, uh, the president of uh, Partner Associazione La Pagina, and uh, we are uh, we are in Italy, <laughs> and uh, and I am also president of uh, ISEC that uh, uh, partner associated with La Pagina, <coughs> and uh, we are uh, very very happy to participate in, in this project, no? Because uh, uh, already we are uh, uh, in family to find to film. Okay. They come from the city of Terni. Terni. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Italy, Terni. <laughs> okay. I am Rosella. I am um, in Terni too, and I am collaborating with the two associations in uh, La Pagina and Heistel. We are now engaged in uh, some, uh, pro in the, also in another project in, uh, yes, and uh, I am lucky because uh, um, after my long life of teacher um, in my museum and at university working in the European project, and now I, 
I, I can collaborate with you and I'm very, very um, honored about this because I absolutely um, share and I, I am, uh, agree with uh, the uh, value system that you are um, expressing just now in your presentation. Uh, totally, I agree with your uh, idea of uh, uh, the relationship uh, um, between uh, emotional and rational uh, mind. And uh, the, I think that the, the, the very interesting uh, um, sector uh, of this project, uh, emotional, is exactly this, the idea to uh, focus uh, the problems of the uh, young uh, the children, uh, also with uh, uh, disabilities and problem, and uh, um, uh, the pro and, and also and our um, uh, engagement in support their uh, correct uh, involvement in the school, in society, in the groups. And yes, <laughs> and this is very, very important thing. So I, um, and, and also to stress the idea of what? Uh, uh, like uh, uh, student of this involvement. So thank you for your work. <laughs> we are ready to work. <laughs> Ciao, sono Albano Scalise, Associazione La Pagina, di Terni. Felice di essere qui con voi. Thank you very much. Albano, I'm very happy to be with us. He's a volunteer of the Associazione La Pagina. Hello, good morning. I'm Juan Francisco. I'm, uh, first of all, I'm very happy to be here with all partner. Uh, I'm a, te a technical advisor, educational advisor of the regional government of Extremadura in Spain, uh, like uh, like Pedro, <laughs> in southwest of Spain. Um, actually, uh, now I coordinate the <coughs> program, the news program in our region. Uh, we have uh, more or less. Uh, uh, 25, uh, uh, 30 school, different types of school. And this, uh, this afternoon, I try to explain display this. Um, I I hope uh, change different experience and good practice um, with the whole partner. Thank you. Yes. Hello, I'm Christian. And I'm the only one from Belgium. So I feel a little bit alone. <laughs> you won't be alone long. <laughs> so um, I am artist, I'm musician. I work with the Muse project for five years now <coughs> with the children with, which uh, suffer. I don't, I don't like the, the, the word suffer. Of autist, autist, autistic children, schizophrenic and build, um, mental deficient. Mm -hmm. So um, I, uh, I organize with them uh, some kind of musical free workshops mm -hmm. and to to try to introduce uh, some uh, work in community. It's really complicated with this kind of children. Uh, the first time I would like to stop, it was too, too chaotic, and now it's okay. Uh, it's always chaotic, but it's okay now. Jerry uh, G, now. So, and I work as guide in a Central African Museum in Brussels, too. Well, we got a lot of questions about racism, integration, uh, story of colonization, and nothing else. So, I speak. English quite okay, Spanish quite okay, and French welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Eh, buenos días, soy Nora, soy músico y soy musicoterapeuta. Trabajo con personas con distintas capacidades, dándoles el espacio para poder expresar sus emociones y a partir de eso. Oh, my, my name is Nora, she is a musician and she is also 
um, a third musician. She works with people with different abilities and she gives them space to express their emotions. Y a partir de eso, poder pensar y tomar decisiones que puedan uh, decidir y transformarse. And from there, they can think and make, take decisions, make decisions to transform themselves. Soy de Madrid y soy artista de la Fundación. Gracias. She is also from Madrid and she is also an artist for the Foundation. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm Monica Baldi from Italy. I represent two associations, one is Cidi Sono Sacro, and uh, I apologize for Andrea Cecomori, the president of Cidi Sono Sacro, uh, to be here, but uh, for COVID reasons, he's not here. But anyhow, I want to introduce uh, this association, very important because uh, uh, the focus of Cidi Sono Sacro is to promote music, but not only music, the sacrality of music. It means uh, what, what is inside, and even we work a lot in enlightened musicians. And uh, this is the first one, Asi Sono Sacro, the last, the other one, Ars Pace. I'm vice president of Ars Pace. And uh, this is actuality, I mean, because Ars Pace, as you know, is very important for us. Even if it is a, a new association, we think uh, we want to promote the values of, uh, of peace through culture and art. For us, art, art is at the service of peace. So for us, it's very important to make an action in this direction. And uh, muchas gracias, Annabelle, eh, porque le palabra eh, corazón y razón, eso es quello que noi crea, creiamo. So uh, it's very important for us because what she said, Annabella, is the meaning. That's why we are in emotion art. For us, it's very important, this project, in this moment. I have to thank, with my heart, the association, because uh, for us, from Assisi, Assisi, as you know, is a city of peace in the world. It's not only an UNESCO city, but we work uh, together with Terni, and uh, we are very happy with Terni mm -hmm. to have you in Italy, because we are going to prepare something special, you'll see next uh, in the afternoon. And, uh, I think that you appreciate our hospitality in Italy, no? So, but anyhow, uh, for us it's very important because in this moment, thank you to Annabelle, thank you to Tony, because your project in this moment, I think it could be something special. Even if uh, all the associations in their country, they can make an echo of this project, uh, even if you said, Annabelle, uh, little money, okay, but uh, we have our heart working in that, and for us, even we think to do something that can rest in the future. So I wish everybody to do something really with the heart, through the heart, to arrive to peace. And in this moment, peace, as you know, we have to build peace. It's not something you have for nothing. We have to build peace. So thank you to everybody to work together. Just only one little correction to use it was our project. It's not anymore our project, it's our project. Oh, <laughs> but you were the started. There's you no, started it. No <laughs> oh, you guys started it. <laughs> we all started it. Yes, okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Barbara. I'm from Germany. Um, we come from the Vulcan Eiffel, which is between Frankfurt and Cologne. Um, we have right now a, a special needs school. I coordinate artists from Musa into this school. We started this beginning school year and we are very excited about this project because it is very, very important that special needs um, is out there these people are us, and we they have a heart too, and they beat like us. And we want to integrate them more and more into our community and into our systems, and not always put them away. They have a heart, and they have emotions to show too. Um, thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Uta. I come from Germany. 
Uh, I'm the principal of this school, Baba told, um, and I'm very excited to be here, the first time at Muse. And yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hello. Um, thank you for inviting us. Uh, my name is Eva Maria Deisen. I am an industrial and product designer, and I worked with Move Germany for around one or two years now. Mm -hmm. um, I do visual arts at school, and I have two elementary schools, and I'm working at the Förderschule now since Wednesday. <laughs> so <laughs> it was my first uh, my first day this week and we try to figure it out and I think we have a lot of more negative emotions to deal with in the next years. Like we had so many cool stuff we did and then COVID came and uh, yeah, now the war came and I think it, in the children's heads there's a lot of negative energy that has to go out and get uh, converted into hope and friendship and I think that's important. Okay, uh, I'm Isabel, Isabel Zelga, uh, I'm, uh, I'm in the team in EVER, I belong to university, I belong uh, also to uh, Portugal and uh, the association, and also uh, the, the connection is uh, a long connection between universities, especially the, the School of Arts and also the, the School of uh, Pedagogy and Teachers Training, who I work, where I work. And um, in, in uh, the, 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 the school in Evra is uh, 20 years ago uh, developing, is a, is a, a nice and a great school, but in Portugal we work uh, the the need the special needs together in the community and uh, in the in the with the others because all of us we are different and uh, that's why I think the the art leads uh, with the emotional and uh, the creativity of new ideas uh, work all the times with this body, the feels, the good and bad emotions because we assume that exists exist only not a, a good uh, <laughs> a good uh, bite. And uh, okay we are we are prompt to the the to the Desafio? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay for now. <laughs> I, I, very, very, very nice to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I am Maria João. I am professor in the school of Cruz da Picada in Évora. I am the coordinator of the school. Estou representando a Associação Yehudin Menuhin Portugal hoje. Um, Isabela há dito tudo. É em minha escola que o projeto MUSE se está desenvolvendo e por isso estou aqui com vontade de trabalhar e de construir um futuro melhor. Graças. Olá, eu sou a Maria João Trucha from Portugal, working alongside with Isabel, and she is a teacher and coordinator in the school. She's representing the association, the foundation, Yehudi Minuki, in the school, and she is working, like Isabel said, they are trying to work for a better future. Hola. <laughs> Tudo bem? <risos> Meu nome é Caio, ah, eu sou novo na, representante da associação, junto com a professora Maria João, estou aqui representando a associação, 
E eu sou do, do projeto que vai ser implantado em Portugal, em Évora, no mesmo local. E, e é isso, eu sou músico, eu espero que o projeto se desenvolva bem por lá. Eu já acompanho como voluntário uma das sessões do MUSE há alguns meses. E agora, nesse projeto, eu vou começar fazendo as sessões. E eu sou do Brasil, né? Apesar de morar em Portugal e fazer representação do, do projeto em Portugal, eu sou do Brasil. Olá, so, his name is Caio. He is from Brazil, but he works in uh, Portugal in the same school as Maria João. He is also a musician. And he has been also volunteering to accompany groups from the school and to different organizations. And he's very happy to be here. And um, he says hello to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, soy Geisla, soy de Brasil y vivo en Portugal. Soy actriz y cantante. Eh, soy relativamente nueva en el proyecto. Este, este es mi primer año, eh, pero es la segunda vez que vengo a Mira Flores tener con vosotros. Eh, bueno, creo que el arte es la única cosa que cambia el mundo. Eh, estoy muy contenta de estar aquí, de estar en este nuevo proyecto. Y gracias a todos. <coughs> So her name is Jaisha. Jaisha. It's different. Never heard that before. And she's an, an actress, and she's also a singer. And she is new to this project. However, it, this is her second time here in this meeting in Naftores. And she believes that art is the only thing that can change the world. So she's very happy to be here. Bien, hemos cometido un, un error muy grave que es no presentar en primer lugar a Ciro y a Íñigo mm -hmm. que nos van a ayudar a todo, a facilitarnos la comunicación y les damos, yo quería darles un aplauso anticipada por su colaboración. También a María Martú, que es artista del programa MUSE que, en Galicia y que también como voluntaria va a hacer el reportaje gráfico. Muchas gracias, obrigado. Thank you. So, um, Annabelle just introduced uh, Tiro and myself. We are, as you've seen, the interpreters will going to be translating for you. In case you have any questions, please come to us. And um, also, she wants to introduce Maria. She is going to be taking videos, so have a smile whenever you see her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, uh, I'm going to pass over now to Theo. Okay. Okay. Y pasamos la palabra a Mariano, que creo que le conocéis de autobús esta mañana. ¿Qué tal? Eh, voy a ser muy breve. Eh, yo soy el encargado de, de subir las noticias que vosotros me proporcionéis para documentar la, la web de, de emocional. ¿Vale? Eh, oh, so, hi, I'm going to be very brief. Um, I'm in charge of uploading the news you're going to send me uh, to the website. Entonces, eh, lo que hemos visto en otros proyectos europeos, lo que necesitamos es que haya un paralelismo del volumen de noticias que tenemos en unos lugares y en otros, debe ser parejo, porque eh, nosotros tenemos muchas noticias en, desde algunos sitios, en algunas delegaciones en otras, y otras partes se quedan un poquito descompensadas. Entonces lo que necesitamos es que todos, eh, todas las partes, todos los socios de este proyecto contribuyan por igual para nutrir la web. Necesitamos como el equipo. So, we, what we have seen in other European projects is that we need to have a similar output of news. Um, because we have seen that in some places we have a lot of news to upload, but in, in some others there's some uh, imbalance and we have very few, so we ask you all to submit some news. Entonces, y acabo ya los estudios con mucho énfasis que colaboréis con nosotros, que mandéis noticias, porque las noticias son los que van a nutrir este proyecto y lo que nos va a servir durante este tiempo que vamos con otros proyectos europeos para contar todo lo que hacemos y es la base fundamental de nuestra 
pasa es lo que, lo que no se ve, no existe, lo que no existe no, no existe. Okay. So I will please now, I will just please ask you to collaborate and upload as many news as you can. Um, so we can let this project keep growing and as we, don't, as we say, uh, what we don't say doesn't exist. So thank you. Si, si no existe, además, no se financia. Y eh, este proyecto, eh, a mí me, me gustaría imaginar y soñar que es la primera parte de un proyecto más ambicioso en el que podamos seguir trabajando en un futuro. Y me gustaría imaginar que este proyecto es la primera parte of a more ambitious and bigger project we can work with in the project in the future. Que podamos presentar incluso un proyecto eh, con el Ministerio de Educación de España, con otras administraciones autonómicas, eh, conveniando con los distintos países para hacer un proyecto amplio de educación especial desde la ARGE. Um, so we can present this project to the Education Ministry and to the Administration of other regions. Um, so we can reach agreements with other countries and we get to a bigger, more complete project. Porque com comparto lo que ha dicho la compañera que en, en este momento el arte es posiblemente lo único que nos pueda eh, permitir cambiar el mundo. Um, so I totally agree with her that art is the only thing that uh, allows us to change the world completely. Eh, pero el arte, esto es un secreto, no solamente lo hacen los artistas. Creo que hay que tener mucho arte para dirigir un centro educativo en estos momentos y ser profesor o docente en un centro. Y hay que ser muy artista para trabajar en una administración y conseguir unir los decretos con la acción. Y trabajar en entidades del tercer sector y hacer incidencia política y eh, armonizar la, la, la reflexión y la acción. And to be involved in politics and to harmonize um, self-awareness and action. Por eso le voy a pedir a los dos artistas que esta noche les necesitamos para la acción en una cosa que es musear y que esperamos contar con ellos. So that's why I will ask um, the two artists we have here today um, to participate in musear, uh, which we have tonight. <risa> Bien, el COVID, eh, hay, hay cosas que están en este encuentro y otras que no están. Um, there are some things that will be in this uh, meeting and some others will not be. Eh, el COVID sigue presente, aunque quisiéramos que ya no estuviera, tenemos que tener cuidado. Um, COVID is very much still present, even though we don't want to. Um, so we have to be careful. Y nos ha traído dos, dos bajas eh, de Andrea Chicomori, como bien ha comentado Baldi, y también la directora del Colegio de Los Ángeles de, de Badajoz, que ayer me mandó un mensaje, que ha estado en contacto con un positivo y está todavía viendo. Um, there have been uh, two people who could not attend due to COVID, and one of them was the director of uh, the in Badajoz. Por eso vamos a grabar eh, todas las sesiones, todo el trabajo. Eh, no lo podemos retransmitir en streaming porque tiene muy mala cobertura la cristalera, pero todo se va a subir en la web y todos los que no han podido venir van a tener acceso también a la información. Um, that's why we are recording all sessions. Um, there will be no streaming uh, because the signal here in the Cristalera uh, is very poor, but uh, it will be uploaded to the web and everyone will have access to it. Um, no nos acompaña tampoco en estos momentos um, 
la representante de la Universidad de Extremadura, eh, Rosa, porque tiene un problema personal y ha tenido que pedir la baja en la universidad por un tema médico. Um, so Rosa, who is uh, from the University of Extremadura, will not be here today due to personal reasons. Um, she had a mental issue, so she did not come. Um, ella eh, va a seguir dentro de su compromiso con el proyecto, eh, colaborando y apoyando el proyecto, y aunque esté de baja, va a seguir liderándolo. Y ha liado a, a Pedro para que le ha mandado la presentación y para que abren su nombre. Es decir, que ella ha hecho sus deberes. Um, she's still very committed and collaborative with the uh, foundation, and she will still be leading this project. And she has sent her presentation to Pedro so that uh, he can speak in her name. <laughs> Eso habla también de que ya hay una red tejida que ya tenemos un trabajo porque Pedro ya está colaborando y trabajando en la universidad en el proyecto de inclusión con lo cual es, hay muchas cosas previas que ya estábamos compartiendo ahora que hay que ponerlas en común um, it means that we have already developed a network um, Pedro has already started working in an inclusivity project uh, so we just have to put everything in common and share our ideas eh, tampoco nos va a poder acompañar eh, Enrique Barón, que también tiene una situación personal bueno, eh, eh, compleja y que bueno, pues luego cuando hagamos eh, un plenario con el resto de los compañeros, pues diremos alguna palabra en su nombre. Um, Enrique Barón, no tiene tiempo hoy, por razones personales, pero luego cuando tengamos un reunión más grande, tendremos algunas palabras para él. Y eh, seguro que estaréis echando de menos a los representantes de los centros de educación especial en España que forman parte del proyecto. Bueno, nos han abandonado en este momento. Eh, oí los aplausos porque han decidido hacer el taller y se incorporan ahora después del café. Como el autobús ha llegado un poquito tarde y las maletas han dicho, bueno, pues nos metemos en este taller y luego ya nos sumamos. Disculparlos, pero bueno, yo creo que ellos también querían experimentar. Please forgive them, but um, since the bus arrived a bit late, they wanted to get involved in the workshops and they wanted to have fun. Bien, eh, para terminar esta presentación, esta primera parte del, del programa, eh, yo quería hacerlo con una reflexión que nos marca la figura de Yekuri Menuhi. Um, so, just to close this introduction, this first part of the program, uh, I want to uh, bring up uh, some words about uh, Yekuri Menuhi. Y una reflexión también sobre el tema de, de lo que es la salud y lo que es la salud mental. Estamos todos muy preocupados por el tema de cómo el COVID ha afectado a la salud mental de los adultos, pero sobre todo de los niños y las niñas. Y sin duda el trabajar desde el arte y la emoción es un buen antídoto, una buena medicina eh, para eh, construirnos y eh, superar las dificultades. Um, of course, working with emotions and art is a good cure, cure sorry, um, to overcome the challenges. Tenemos que enfrentarnos al virus con sus propias herramientas. We have to face this virus with its own tools. Vamos a contagiar y vamos a contaminar, pero con alegría, con ilusión, con imaginación y con la convicción del trabajo que estáis realizando y que vamos a abordar en este proyecto. Um, we are going to spread and contaminate, but with um, happiness, uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm, and also commitment to this work we'll do. Yehudi Menuhin decía que si sí, eh, estaba demostrado eh, las bondades de la arteterapia, de la musicoterapia. Um, que, oh, 
Yeah, we mean um, often said uh, that if the benefits of um, therapy with art and music were proven, eh, podría aportar con personas sanas y por qué no trabajamos ese potencial desde lo emocional? Just imagine uh, what it could do to uh, already healthy people and we should get its full potential from the emotions. I think this is a challenge we have to face. También decía, él tiene un libro que es El viaje inacabado, que son sus memorias. He also has a book called The Unfinished Journey, which are his memories. Si alguno tiene tiempo, puede leerlo. Yo creo que debe de tener dos mil páginas. Bueno, casi. <laughs> está en inglés y cuenta su vida eh, y sus experiencias. Um, I would recommend if you have time to read it. Um, it is uh, very short and it's written in English and it tells him about it, his life and experiences. En Amazon se puede encontrar en segunda mano a un precio muy módico. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon at a very cheap price. We don't get any, any <laughs> so don't worry about that. You can give us the commission directly. <laughs> 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 Perdón. <laughs> la Fundación Española tiene traducidos nueve capítulos que los hizo aquí eh, Tony en su parte como voluntario también de la Fundación, que si alguno lo quiere en castellano se lo podemos hacer llegar. Um, the Spanish Foundation has nine chapters uh, translated, uh, thanks to Tony. Um, so if anyone wants to read it in Spanish, uh, we can send it to you. Él dice en ese libro que eh, hay, hay heridas en todas partes y que no tenemos que recrearnos en nuestra propia herida. Um, he says that uh, in his book that there are wounds everywhere and we have, we have to stop focusing on our wounds so much. Y tenemos que trabajar por curar las heridas universales. That we have to work on healing uh, universal wounds. Y en todas partes son las mismas. Él vivió la Primera Guerra Mundial, la Segunda, el apartheid en, en, en okay. Sudáfrica, y, y él además fue un defensor claro de en contra de la perestroika en Rusia para sacar a personas y artistas sobre todo como los Rostropovich que estaban confinados en Siberia. Um, so, uh, he says that um, these wounds are the same everywhere. And he lived through both world wars, uh, through the apartheid in South Africa. And he was also um, an, a defender of getting... I'm sorry? To take Vostropovich, for example, who was actually confined in Siberia as a prisoner. Planteaba que del deber de memoria, del deber de de acción. Eh, y que el instrumento tenía que ser siempre, cada uno, eh, la música o el arte, no la confrontación. He says that um, uh, everyone must act, and they must act not through confrontation, but through music and art. En ese sentido, eh, algunas de las que estamos aquí vivimos la experiencia del campo de Bergenberge, donde murió Ana, Ana Frank, en Alemania. Um, in that sense, some of us uh, lived through this uh, in the place where Anna Frank died. Él fue al campo a las pocas semanas de de liberarlo y estuvo allí durante un tiempo y lo que hacía era por las mañanas levantarse y tocar el violín, hacer una catarsis para salir de esa situación de angustia en la que habían vivido las personas que estaban en campo. He went there uh, a few weeks after he was freed. Um, what he did there was uh, wake up early in the morning to play a violin in a cathartic way. Que trabajara desde el arte con el violín no significa que no fuera un hombre con cerreas convicciones. 
Um, he worked from the art in his violin, but it did not mean that he was a very determined man. Decía que no podía haber ningún arte que estuviera a favor de la violencia, del racismo y de que cualquier tipo de intento de convencer a los otros por la fuerza. Um, he said that uh, there's no type of art that uh, defends violence, racism or forcing your ideas onto others. Yo creo que su legado eh, nos hace empujar y más en estos momentos a eh, ese fluir que tiene que haber en la humanidad desde la gente buena que lo que queremos es vivir en paz. Um, I think his legacy should push us to uh, live in a fluent community in which uh, we work together as a humanity. Cuando al, algunos piensan en estos momentos, eso es muy difícil, qué duro va a ser, cómo lo vamos a hacer, Um, in these moments, um, some people think that this is quite challenging. Uh, how can we do it? Eh, yo creo que tenemos que reflexionar sobre todos los pasos que se dan, las personas invisibles que están colaborando y que están haciendo para transformar. Que somos más, aunque los bocazas gritan más. Um, I think we all have to think about uh, those invisible people who are collaborating and working without being acknowledged. And uh, it, it's important to keep in mind that uh, the loudest people just shout more. When someone says that it's difficult, I teach a video of a young with 77 years who is doing a posture of yoga. I think Irma can detail it. And it's been for 4 or 5 minutes in something that none of us who are here ni Ciro, que yo creo que es el más joven, podríamos hacer. Es, si uno quiere, se puede. Trabajemos por ello, ¿no? Um, uh, it's hard to think. I remember Gifudi, uh, when he was 77 years old, uh, there's a video of him uh, doing a yoga posture. Um, and he maintained that posture for around four or five minutes. I think none of us here, not even me, one youngest here, uh, could do that. So I think it's fine.